Here's the building from the title screen. Say hello. Mojave Express. And here's where we're going. Bison Steve, the only other building in town. Exciting place, you know. Oh, oh you saw me already! Come on! Go. Not getting in that building or that door anytime soon. Hey, what happened to Steve? I think he got shot. Anybody there? Oh no! Not Billy too. He had the world's biggest cleaver, apparently. Dun, 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 dun. No, you didn't see me. I'm Solid Snake. 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 Lost him! Lost the skills! Crippled his torso by shooting his back! Come on! Aha, you missed, sucker! Yes! What a shot! He's just like, what's that? I whip around my 10mm pistol and just... Pow! It's way more exciting in my head, I guess. All delicious bottle caps. Wow, definitely not getting in that anytime soon. I'll come back for all this extra junk here. Right now, we just want to take the building. Actually, with that. These are the world's biggest uh, cash registers. I really wish I had one. It's gonna hold a varmint rifle and a tire iron and a single shotgun. Uh, what else can we fit in there? All those cleavers, definitely. Ooh, all this armor. Now let's see if I remember where to get my stuff back. Again, world's biggest cash register. Rats, can't fix it yet. Ooh, star bottle cap. Those you want to be on the lookout for, you collect them and you can earn a prize later on in the game. I've never actually done it, so I don't know what the prize is, but I know you need to collect a whole lot of them, so. And you can get them randomly from the sarsaparilla drinks, you can find the stars randomly on people, or just about anywhere, actually. Sneak up here, do do do, don't mind me. Floor 2. Now with exciting load times. Hmm. I think I'll take a Nuka Cola. The best part of Nuka Cola is you get health, you know, you get a little radiation, you get health, and you get money! You get caps! It's a bottle! And it's always refreshing, like Coca Cola. That's trademarked. So it's Nuka Cola. Yes, world's easiest lock. With crap. In it. Just one stim pack. Now the vacuum cleaner was actually great in Fallout 3, and they took out the one item it made in this game. So, usually not worth it to carry around anymore. Hey, how's it going, buddy? What's that, my face? Oh, close my eyes. It hurts so bad. Oh, this looks familiar. 
Oh, you didn't see me. Now he did. Yes! Rare loop pinatas. Where are you? I need more goodies. Oh, one cigarette. Got it. Who's there? No one. What's the always tire irons on a good thing to bring into a gunfight? Like what the? Uh, uh, oh, I need bullets! 9mm pistol, go! Where's he going? No, stop! Firing! Damn! Yeah, you get into that wall! Yeah! And then his leg popped off! Oh, this game's overly dramatic sometimes. Oh, all this good stuff to come back and sell. By good stuff, I mean crap. I usually try to loot the bodies, though. They seem to disappear after a while for me. Whoa, well. Come around this corner, I dare ya. Well, he's gonna take me up on that dare, and his head'll pop off. What was that? What was that? It couldn't have been all those rounds I just put into your buddy. Yes, I just saw an eyeball fly past me. That is amazing. Alright. How much stuff can I repair? Uh, I am way overweight. Oh, do da day. I'm gonna fix this up. I'm gonna fix it now. I'm gonna try to get all this crap outside so I can sell it. Yes! I'm good. Can't get upstairs and use bathroom. It's okay. Has a weight of zero and a value of one. I like that. Okay, I gotta come back for a lot of this stuff. Just gotta get the main items, weapons, armor out of the building, and I'll be okay. Just a lot of money in here. Say, oh, locked. And I apparently have the key. And I'm not overburdened. Yeah. Oh, look at all those tire irons. Yes. One good one with duct tape. Alright. I should have probably done this a while ago. Uh,. You can hotkey items if you hold down the number here. Go on dynamite to be three, you hold down three and then just left click on it. Pretty simple stuff. Actually, let's make that four. And I can just press one or press four out here and go to town on these guys. In this case, I don't think there's anything to go to town on. In fact, I'm just, I'm not sure why there's a third floor here. Am I just missing something? I don't think I am.
definitely don't think I am. Who murdered all these guys? Oh, that's right, it was me. Down here? I think there should be a couple more people. I still haven't saved the guy yet. Oh, hello. Nice helmet. Looks like that little alien from uh, the Flintstones. This field. Boom. Ish. No. Yes. I'm crippled too. Not as yes. But I showed him, and that's what's important. Okay. Wait. wait, wait. Oh, there's the incinerator. All right. Weighs like 40 pounds. <laughs> there's your leg. So, whoa, Got hello. You know. yeah, I don't like that. Do you like that? Sucker. Alright. Here to 35. Lock pick. Finally get it to 50. Uh, I'm assigning the three points to. Let's go with guns so I can kill people better. <sighs> I like educated. I like educated a lot. Two more skill points for every level till you max out. Why would you not want this? That's a lot of bonus skill points. I think there are four DLC that should make the level cap a little 50. So you pick this up at level 4. So 46 levels divided by 2 is 23. That's 23 times 2 or 46 skill points you're getting extra for taking one perk. Sure beats out... What's that one? Well, let's pick a fourth... Uh, special thing in the loser. Tag this. You can pick a tag skill and raise it by 15 points. Or you can take this and get 46. Sold. Oh, he opened that locked door for me. That was nice of him. Not that it actually matters, it just loops around at the same part of the building where we save our hero, Deputy Droopy Guy Thingy. I don't know his name. I'm bad with names. I should practice a mnemonic or something. Or just make up my own name like I do now. Sorry, Joe. I'm getting my way. That's right. I feel like a badass with my not a millimeter. I was all like, how's it going, convict? He was like, don't shoot me in the face. And I, I shot him in the chest instead, because I'm nice. I don't shoot people in the face. Ooh. Okay, here's the one guy left. Deputy Beagle. Apparently get, fell on the ground or something and hurt himself. He's missing health. I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are numb. Why, yes I am. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. I'd be most appreciative if you'd set me free. Indeed I do, good sir. And I would be thrilled to share that information with you as soon as I am released from captivity. Oh, that's just marvelous. I think I'll be making my way outside now. Oh, why, uh, of course. I'd never let you fight my kidnappers with my help, but without it. You lead the way. <laughs> Such a coward. Oh, purified water. 
All right, I will clear this out. I'm not going to bore you guys with all those details. I'm already going extremely slow here. Yeah, I know I'm crippled. I got an owie. All right, I'll fix that soonish. Uh, oh, look at that! More tire irons. I didn't have enough to fix my no working cars in this universe. Okay, well, that's not true. There are lots of working vehicles. Yeah. Okay. Oh boy, I'm actually under limit. Yes. Can jump in for no brown. Let's get the fuck out of here. Look at that, I killed everyone already, yay! And let's fix this too, because I have the proper repair scale. Do do. Elevator works, you're welcome. Okay, I guess he's waiting for me to walk outside. Howdy. Hello. Well. That was quite an adventure. We taught those convicts a thing or two, didn't we? Breaking myself out of a hostage situation. Not to diminish your role in it, of course, but it was quite thrilling. Problem is, there's still no law in Prim. What are we to do the next time ruffians menace us and hold us hostage? It should be someone brave like you, but more of a homebody. Someone who'll settle down and watch over us. I heard the powder gangers talking about someone in the prison named Myers who has some experience as a sheriff. He may be a good choice. Also, with the NCR so close by, you may be able to get them to take over the town. Not sure why they haven't helped out already. You will? That's just marvelous. I'll start thinking up questions for the interview. The sheriff that was incarcerated up at NCRCF may be a good choice. You also may be able to convince that NCR guy across the road to take the town under his wing. Although martial law doesn't sound so fun. Oh, it isn't. I'm going with option C. I will fix your robot and he will be the sheriff. Howdy. Any luck finding a suitable can- Ah, yes. My memory is much clearer now that I'm free from my bondage. I was uh, performing recon, gathering information on some of the powder gangers, when some great cons arrived with your friend in the suit. They were talking about some delivery they took from a courier. I assume that was you? They said they'd be heading through Nipton to Novak to meet a contact there. Huh. Thanks for the tidbit, sir. Either. Hey, everyone got their guns out. It looks like they're ready to shoot each other. It's kind of scary. Oh, there you are, old man. Hey, youngster. Still hanging about Prim, huh? Now, your guess is as good as mine. You might luck upon someone who's a natural-born sheriff. I heard of one fellow what got himself locked in that NCR jailhouse up I-15. And maybe that ain't the best credential, but a sheriff's a sheriff. I imagine the NCR would be able to bring some law to the town, too. But from what I've seen, they barely got the firepower to protect themselves. Johnson Nash is my name. Husband to Ruby Nash. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. I'm a trader primarily, for what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. A Beagle had some notes he was taking while he was eavesdropping around the Potter gangsters. Sure, I'll tell you. met his wife yet. Howdy. Any luck finding a suitable... No. I do thank you. There, there is the option. Well, I reckon he could be a sheriff if you have the skills to reprogram him. 
Bye. I've never actually done that before. I've never reprogrammed the robot. I'm really curious what it does. It may just go psycho and kill everyone in the town. I hope not. Howdy, partner. Welcome to the Vicky Advance Casino and Museum. So I only need 30 science, excuse me, only 30 science to reprogram to act as sheriff, but I need 50 to fix him. Okay. I suppose I'll be back later to fix that. Well, that takes care of this town. There is an iBot here we'll be going back for. It's one of the first companions I usually get. Well, no, I take that back, actually. It takes me a while to find the parts for him. This little guy... Yeah, yeah. Uh, this little iBot can go with you. Carry stuff for you, kill people. He's fantastic. He's... I usually try to get him fixed, but it's hard to find the parts right off the bat. So, I'll have to come back for him. And we will take care of the sheriff of this town later on. Right now my goal is to get set up in a hotel, a house, somewhere to just put my stuff. And the one I usually like is right here in Novak. Uh, it's the first hotel room you actually get. You can just go in and buy one, or you can do some quests in the town and earn one, but it's only like 100 or 200 caps, so I usually just buy it. We've got a quite, uh, we've got a journey though to get up there. We've got to take this road around. There's a mountain range here, and then we head back up, and we'll be dodging quite a few people trying to kill us along the way. So it's gonna be a quite an adventure. Uh, we'll have to save it for next time though. As I think it's about a good time to end it for now. So we'll save here. It's been fun, kids. I will see you next time.